What's going on everybody? We're back again with another video. And in this video, we'll be reviewing the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. Now, first things first, shout out to Mark for letting me borrow this gun. It's not mine, so I asked him to borrow it so I can do a review on it. And so shout out to you, bro, for that. And go follow, go subscribe to his channel at YSN underscore Santana 727. That's his channel. I'll, I'll link it in the description below and all that stuff. So go go check his stuff out. Um, but back onto the review. Make this sure this gun's clear first. All right. So this gun is a polymer frame striker fired pistol. So it's in the same ballpark as like your Glock, your Smith and Wesson M and P lineup, your um, Taurus G series, same thing. So it's a it's in that same ballpark as far as the controls and everything. Um, we'll go into the pros first, and then the cons last, and then I'll give you my overall opinion. Okay, now. First off, this is what you would consider a budget firearm, okay? From what I've seen, the price of one of these typically, if it's not inflated, around 300 bucks, I think they said, or i seen that. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but, so this is considered a budget firearm, and, you know, it's made by a really, really good company. Smith & Wesson makes great stuff, so... They are, they're very proven, so this already with that name is, is good. So the pros that I like about this gun, I've had a I've got a chance to shoot this thing a few times. Um The pros I would say that I like number one, I like the grip texture. Um it's rough enough to where it gets you get a good grip on it. It's you know, especially in the back strap and the front strap. Um, so this thing is not gonna really be slipping out of your hands at all, which is cool. Um now for concealed carry, this might be a little rough if it's rubbing against your skin. I can say that, but if we're not using it for concealed carry, that's not a problem. But um another pro I like about this gun are the slide serrations. So they're, they're, they're not typical slide serrations. They're much wider than your typical ones. And overall, they're just different. So you get you a good grip, good purchase, you know, not purchase, but uh, a good grip on it. And it's not slipping, you know, it's not, you know what I'm saying? I like them a lot. I like these better than your Glock serrations. I'm not even going to lie. Um, so the overall, the serrations are really nice, and they do the job just fine. Um, another pro that I like about this gun is the simplicity. It's just like a Glock. No bullshit thumb safeties, you know, none of that extra shit, which I love it. Okay, so this is great. This gets a point in my book for that. Just very simple. All it has is your slide stop lever, your mag release, your takedown tabs, and your trigger, and that's it. So, I, I love that. I love the simplicity of this thing. It's awesome. That's what it's some the, the simple the, the more simple the better it is for in my opinion. Um, another pro that I like about this gun is the overall size is a good. It's a good size, okay? And, you know, it's um, it's not a full size, but it's also not a compact. It's more right in the middle. It's right in between, okay? For a reference, this thing is slightly bigger than a Glock 19. Um, and actually, I'll show you it compared to my Glock 19 just to show you. Um, so, this is the difference in size. You need to see. So that's the difference in size. It's it's the can it's not the big difference, but it is slightly bigger. Now the grip on the, the 19 is gonna be thicker, but that's it. Um so I like the size of it. Now, one thing I want to mention, it's supposed to be 16 round capacity. At least it says it on the mag, but 
we've tried on both of his mags to put around the 16th round in there. It, it just seems like it doesn't go in, but I'm still going to call it a 16 round gun because that's what it advertises. And hopefully the other mags, like I'm pretty sure people's mags work. So they might just get mags that are weird, but so it's 16 rounds and nine millimeter, which is nice. Um, and overall it's nice. I love that it has rails or, you know, your little rail slots to put a light, your light slots on it. There's two of them, so you can fit different size lights or whatever. Um, I like how the mag release button feels. Honestly, it's really nice. Um, it's I actually like that a lot. Um, the mag release button, it's perfect in my opinion. It's in my opinion, it's better than your Gen Three Glock mag releases. Um, you know what I mean? I like guess it, it's the perfect size. It's nothing too big, but it's not too small, and it sticks out the right amount. So, and it shoots those mags out pretty well. So. That's always nice. Um, what else do I like about this gun? Um, I do like the stainless steel slide. I do like that. I'm not going to lie. The stainless steel slide is is nice. It gives the gun a nice look to it. You know, it's I like it. It's, it's an attractive firearm. I really do like it. Um, um, I like how generally how it shoots, right? It shoots pretty nice, pretty accurate. Um, another pro I like is the slide stop lever. It's just it's 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 a pretty long slide stop lever. Like most slide stop levers are not that long, um, but it's fine with me, and it makes it just easier to lock it to the rear. You know now, and if you want to thumb it down, you could do it that way too. But I don't do that. But if you want to thumb it down, that just probably helps. And it doesn't stick off the frame very much, so it's not like protruding the where it'll jab into you if you're carrying it. But uh Yeah, so that is nice. I really do like that. Um, um one also cool thing, now it doesn't it's not something that I really need on a gun, but it's cool, is the loaded chamber indicator. So when there's a round in the chamber, you could see or you should be able to see the brass through that hole on the top. So if you're one of those people who are like overly worried and paranoid and stuff, you could at least look in there and check. Um, but uh, yeah, so I believe that's it. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. I <laughs> can't believe I almost forgot this actually because this is one of the things I really do like about this gun. I love the sights. I love the sights on this gun. The sights are awesome. I'll give you guys a kind of a view. They're, they're basic three dots, but they are bright, okay? The white, the dots are really bright, and you can see them. Now, they're not like, they're not like a tritium, like glow in the dark, glow in the dark but they're just bright, and they're really obvious to see. You know what I mean? So, you can see those there. I love those. I just love these sights. They're, they're, they're good. I like them. I wish Glock made their sights similar, but like this. But, uh. So yeah, um, so those are all the pros that I can remember about this gun. Um, it's overall a great gun. Now there is one big con in my opinion. And now it's not something that you can't, you know, get used to. But it's something that I've noticed and it's I'm not a fan and that's the tr trigger. Okay, now. Search clear. I'll give you an example. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm not a fan of the hinge design. So you can see there's that little tab there. And if you don't press down where the hinge is, it won't go back. See, I'm pushing up and it's not going back. But when you press down on here where it hinges and it lifts it, then the gun can, then the uh, trigger can go back and fire. Now, the biggest problem I have with this trigger, now this trigger is worse than a Glock trigger, and Glock triggers aren't really great at all, so that says a lot, but it's a budget gun, so what do you expect, you know? Um, the trigger has the hinge, it's just, I'm not a fan of it, I don't like the, uh, the, the angle, or not the angle, but the circular of this trigger, it just, it's kind of not the most comfortable thing for a finger, in my opinion. Um... But I'll give you, I'll show you what the trigger's like. So you got, 
a defined wall right here, right? There's not much resistance, but there's a ton of over travel. And what over travel is, is when you hit the wall, but then the trigger still has to move back some before it breaks. So, so look, wall, pull, over travel, over travel, over travel, over travel. And I'm far, you see how far back I am with the trigger. Over travel, over, boom, it breaks there. So honestly, I'll show you the reset. The reset is like damn near all the way out. So look, I'll go, go, reset. Resets here, and then I'm gonna let off all the way. So it's, the reset is not the greatest, right? The over travel is very bad. Um, I didn't notice this at first, and I was playing with it, and I noticed that. And I'm like, whoa. Um, so this is, in my opinion, when it comes to triggers, I would even say the G2C trigger is better than than this, in my opinion, as far as like, you know, it. I don't know. I would just, I think I like the G2C trigger better just in general. I just do. But I'm going to tell you this, right? If you're buying this gun for defense, you can get used to that trigger, okay? You can just get used to it, but it's just not a good trigger. I'll show you one more time, right? So there's the wall. Keep pulling. There's all that over travel all the way. You go all the way back here, and this is the furthest go, and it'll break after this. Nope, still more. <laughs> still more. Boom. So that trigger has to come all the way back. Um, and if you want to see a, a comparison between that and the Glock trigger, and the Glock trigger is nothing special, okay? So, but look, you're going to see the difference here. You pull back. That's the wall right there. The Glocks have very minimal over travel. But look, a little bit, little bit, boom, breaks, but not as much as the uh, as the SD9. And then also the resets quicker. Boom, that's the reset. And then this is all the way out. So the resets better as well. So that's an example of the Glock trigger versus it. And you can see that the SD9 has a lot more over travel. So the gun breaks when the trigger is damn near all the way to the rear, which it has a lot of resistance, which it it's not the best in my opinion. But that's that's essentially the only con I have for this gun. Now that's a con that can be big to some people, but not big to others, okay? It's you know, that's a noticeable thing I have with this gun is the trigger being mm, pretty bad, okay? But if you're just buying this for defense you know, personal protection for home defense or concealed carry or whatever, you'll get used to that trigger. You know what I mean? You'll get used to how it is. You'll get better with it. And I'm pretty sure the more these things fire, the better it'll get. But that's the only con. I guess I have one more con. Um, The aftermarket for one of these isn't going to be that great. You know what I mean? It's just not. You're not going to find as many parts as something like a Glock. You're just not. But that's, you know, that's not really to be expected. Um, But this gun overall is great, okay? What I what I suggest you, if you were asking me if, I should, if, you get, if you should get one of those, one of these pistols, I would say, yeah. Especially for the price. I mean, these guns are very cheap and, you know, y y this is a good bang for your buck. Put it that way. This thing works just as good as a Glock. You know what I mean? So I would suggest it. And I've never seen any issues. I don't think Mark has had any issues. I know he hasn't had any issues with this gun at all. No malfunction as far as I know. Um, like I said, I've shot this a, a good amount of times and it's nice. Just that trigger is the only thing that's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Um, but that's, you know, if you're a trigger person, you're probably not going to like this. I'm not even a trigger guy, but I noticed that shit. You know what I mean? But I'm not trying to talk down on this gun because this gun is phenomenal. Okay. For the price, especially. And um, the way it looks is a very attractive firearm and very easy to clean, very easy to take apart. You take it apart just like a Glock, just like a Glock. So, you know, you pull the trigger, 
you pull it back a little bit and then pull the tabs down, let it go. So it's the same internals essentially as something like a Glock. Um, easy to maintain, obviously. Um, the slide feels really nice. This It's very smooth to rack, you know what I mean? And so, yeah. Everything about this pistol is like approved for me. You know, I, I would approve this gun 100, I won't say 100%. Let's go with 99.9% .9 because of that trigger. That trigger is just, I really don't like it. Um, but everything else is just fine. If you can get past the trigger, then this will be perfect for you. You know, everything's easy to maintain and everything's good about it. Mark's had nothing but good things to say about this firearm. I've seen nothing but good things about this firearm. And it's it's my dog's first gun, you know. This is his first gun, so. Or at least one of his guns. Um, but, yeah, this thing's nice. I really like it. Somebody gave me this as a gift. I would love it. I can't say 100% if I would buy it myself because I don't really have a need for it. But since it's so cheap, I probably would, you know. And they got different versions of something like this. They got like the they got versions of like Forty Smith and Wesson and stuff like that. But I would just go with the nine millimeter version. Um. So yeah, um, I want to thank Mark again for letting me borrow this for this review. Shout out to you, bro. Go follow his channel. Y'all know his channel name. I'll link it in all below. It's YSN underscore Santana seven two seven. And you'll be looking out for his content because he puts out pretty good stuff. And this is one of the guns that you'll see a lot in it. Um, I'm very grateful he let me borrow this gun and use it for a review because this thing's awesome. I've had it with me also for a past day or two. You know, out at work and stuff. So this thing's been... This thing is trustworthy, okay? This thing, you can bet your life on this thing. And it'll go bang every time you need it to, Okay. So that's basically it, and that covers that wraps up this uh, review. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, if it's a question that I can't answer, I'll have Mark come and answer it because it's his firearm. Um, any comments, just let me know. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You like like the video if you like it, and go subscribe to Center Fire Podcast. That's our podcast channel. Go subscribe to Mark's channel. Once again, thanks, bro, for letting me borrow this. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.